I don't know if it's the settings that I have or if, it, if they updated the physics or something, but it seems easier to control. I noticed that in my last my last um, skills video, I guess, is the bike actually stays in the corner now when I give it throttle. So if I come around this corner and I give it throttle, it, it doesn't go wide. It stays in the corner. Let's see what else is there. I guess I'll cruise around this little loop here until I find something. I'm going to the stadium. I think I'm going backwards. Your pins? Where does it go? No. Nope. That'd be a hard landing to flat. or the biggest turn. I think I'm going back to the quarry down this way. Where's, I don't even know where this stadium is. Save my settings. Let me see. So I can go through the where the bike setup settings. I didn't save them. So use this one. These are my settings. A lot of preload. Um, really soft suspension. Uh, low speed extension on the forks. I, I don't want the bike moving on the brakes or on the throttle. I want it to stay really stiff. But I want it to absorb the bumps. These are pretty extreme settings. Like they're not. They're not subtle, you know, is what I'm trying to say. I have max settings basically on, on these specific, specific uh, components or minimum setting on certain components. I noticed that the bike doesn't bounce like an um, like MX simulator or in um, MX bikes. So I can run basically no rebound damping on the extension. Uh, rebound, yeah and it still runs fine. And then the front spring is full soft, rear spring that is mostly just to keep it from wheeling all the time. But it's as soft as I can get it with good control. And gears are basically stock, except for I went to the long ratio and that. All right. And that's what I was using when I was on the, the Supercross track before. Oh, collectible. I missed it. There we go. So can I do a full throttle, like, turn? I don't want to. Kinda. So there's the query. I think I, I drove to like the opposite side of the map from the stadium. So I'm gonna go this way. There it is, there's the stadium.
try and do this without the timing gates. Oh. Forgot how to do this. Okay, something like that. I'm not a fan of this echo. Oh, that's a really tight turn. It's like arena cross. Super tight. That would be a sketchy, a sketchy thing to get wrong in real life. If that's how the ramp was. Second gear circuit. Oh. Seems like the inside was almost impossible to take. You have to do a pivot turn or something. Inside here. Oh, it worked. I don't think I can make that double off the inside though. that landing over the bridge to get a clean run on the next triple. Oh, in second gear. A little too far to get this triple here. Oh, we got it actually. A little bit case. Front end case. Oh, almost got the double. Another front end case. inside. Missed the triple. Oh, about to go into first. There we go. Fourth gear. Back to the quarry. 
see if I can memorize where it's at. I know it's across the map, essentially. Oh, get the collectible. Got it. And the quarry is straight ahead. Oh. Oh, there's the road. Oh. That'd be a sketchy drop. Oh, to roll in. To where? Oh my gosh. Oh, nose dive. Okay, so claw on the clutch. Lean forward, throttle, clutch. This place also has that weird echo. I stay in fourth here. For these triples. Down to third for the outside. So well earlier in the video. Now I'm back on this track and I can't <laughs> I can't ride it. I have a whole video on this track, so I'm not going to ride this much longer. Where's the exit? There's one over there. Is there there's a back way through here, right? Over here. There it is. And there's the echo gone. So just riding around here has really helped me control the bike, just figure out where it's where the bike's gonna go when I let go of the steering. Oh, can I bring it back? Okay. Now I need to learn how to do whips. I did one there. That's alright. Whips and scrubs. And I wanna try and make them look realistic. Instead of having them all like a, a technical scrub, like what the game would count as a, as a scrub, versus a realistic looking scrub. Is that fourth gear? That is a fourth gear jump. Alright, I'll session this long jump here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's pretty easy. Out of that corner. Oh, 
That's not it. Alright. Take this corner. Uh, I don't know how to bring it back. There we go, there's something. Can I session two jumps? Oh, I don't want to go down into that, that corner there. Oh man, didn't get a good run up. My handbrake doesn't work. Or it's not a handbrake, it's a foot brake. But the rear brake is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I have to use both sticks to bring it back. And after I get the whip, I'm gonna try and do a scrub. This will really help me in the or the races. Because sometimes it's better to scrub or to whip a good fourth gear. There we go. What's the what's the outside view? There we go. Try this. Line up from the corner. Oh, I can't control the bike like this. What a hit. That looks like garbage. Uh, at least in first person view, I don't have to look at that. <laughs> so if I can learn how to do it in third person view, I can figure out the timing with the sticks. So I can actually see what's going on. Not pivot turn. Can I do front brake and I can. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do that again. Kind of. I try and scrub. Okay, a scrub looks better. weird. There we go. Doesn't look right, but it works. Okay. Definitely stays lower. Air physics is kind of weird. Mm 
didn't get enough speed. Oof. Not enough speed to clear the jump now. I have to take it in fifth. Try this in fifth in this direction. That's right, so a way over jump. Try to scrub in the opposite direction now. Okay. I'm getting it figured out. There's a whip, that was clean, clean landing. There's a scrub. Okay. Too far. the jump in fourth. I'm going to spend a few more hours doing that. Just to really get it down, the muscle memory that is. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's do something else. I just rip around this area here. Oh, hopefully clear the triples. Let's see where does this go. That would not land at. That's supposed to be a landing? It has no tracks on this. Oh, interesting. Kind of a straight rhythm? Let's try that. Start over at the beginning. Everything's like third gear. Third gear is too much for that one. Single to flat. 
where'd this go? Table, table. Okay. That's pretty nice. Where'd this go? Let's do uh, an oval onto these jumps here. Oh, backwards. That's a fifth gear jump. that oh we lead didn't even notice I was doing that can I do it on purpose there we go that's not a very realistic really I was like topped out and pulling it up in second gear Over jump again. There we go. Just straight airing it. Oh no. Oof. Why's my weight shift not working? I'm pulling back on the sticks and it's not pulling. Huh, hang on. I'm pulling wheelies. It's not shifting the weight, whatever. Maybe I should take these in fourth. Nope, definitely not fourth. Oh, that would hurt. That's why I don't do jumps in real life. <laughs> I have no idea how to judge the speed of a jump. There we go, now it's pulling back on the, uh, the weight shift thing there. around here. Oops. This is, this is the track I was just doing earlier. Is it? No, it's a different one. I think. So there's that track. And then there's this track. This is an even more basic track. Let's try this one. There was a track. Is that the track? All right, I gotta time, do the timing gate. Might be a huge track, or it might not be, and I just missed the turn. How long this video is? It's probably pretty long right now.
Oh, it's a full... It's like an enduro. Enduro track. Or motocross, anyway, if it's not as big as the whole map. Alright, I'm going to have to break this up into another video. Till the next one.